welcome to All About the Bass. I'm Nathan. Hello, hello, I'm Lee. And yes, today, look, uh, you know, it was almost like a, a companion piece yes. to when we looked at the P basses, the uh, the American P basses. Mm -hmm. uh, we are now doing the same thing with the jazz basses. Indeed, yes, they're in stock. They weren't around last time, so apologies. But yeah, and if you are more of a pre P precision or P bass player, check the video out. It will be popping up here somewhere. And while you're clicking things, click the like button for us and the subscribe and the little bell on top if you haven't done that. Thanks. But yes. This is the jazz range, the Fender jazz range. Um, from the Americas. From the Americas. I like it, I like it. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, because uh, you, that, that will be the uh, most reasonably priced. Yes, from um, the Central Americas, shall we say? That, yes, okay, so that's a uh, Mexican, uh, Yes. Uh, Max and Jazz plays. Okay. Yeah, this is the player, which, um, yeah, this lovely competition. Uh, Capri Orange. I keep getting that wrong. Yeah, Capri Orange. That is a lovely colour. Uh, like standard Alder body, maple neck. This is Pal Faro board. Um, I want the frets on this. 20 frets, medium jumbo, 9.5 inch radius. I don't so, know how you remember all this stuff. It's amazing. Ah. Uh, you know, it just has to look down into the middle know, distance. Looking like kind of that direction. And I'll try, I'm going to try that later. Do it. It um, works. And how much is that? 699. Okay. For this beauty. Yes. So, so that's where they start. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then next. Performer. So, yep, we're up to the performer range. So, this is where it's actually uh, in, built in the North Americas. If we're talking, talking like that. So, this is uh, um, in the, the Corona US of factory. A. Absolutely. Um, and this is, you're looking around sort of 1,200 pounds. Um, and this comes up again, so this is all the body, 20 frets, maple rosewood this time, or rosewood mm. board, instead of power ferro. Okay. Um, and I just think slightly different voice pickups on all these, as you'll, hopefully you will hear. Well, you yeah, we will all show you. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, Oh, and then we jump to this one, this beauty behind here. So we will give this more love in, in a sec, but uh, this is the Professional 2, which is around 1,600, and that sort of, sort of money. Um, and then finally up to the Ultra, which is around the 2000, so 1919, to be precise, right now, <laughs> June 2022. Um, and yeah, that's where you get to all the gizmos. So you've got active preamp, um, uh, compound radius board on this, which is, uh, yeah, a little bit little bit fancier than these, as it were. But all right. well, we will take you through. Yeah, Come with us. Take, on a journey, <laughs> if you will, yes. into jazz bass heaven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Well, so we'll start off with that Ooh, one then. Yep, the okay. Player. Right, I'm going to take tone off. Uh, back pickup. Let's start here first. Front pickup, same thing, tone off. Both pickups together. Tone off. saying what do you, what's it saying to you uh, it plays really really lovely it sounds full as anything to me to my ears it's that just, looks lovely it looks, looks lovely. gorgeous <laughs> it really does just really so does. just so you know look we, we've got two fender rumble but exactly the same two rumble 40s that are being di'd they're mm -hmm. both completely flat and they're both set up with the same gain and uh yeah, my, yeah. you know so it's 
it's all you know you're not getting any sort of differences through amps and stuff there, no so. yeah so they're all you know going through the same setup cool uh very nice very nice thank you thank you thank you so we'll have a quick listen to this please. one please and see if it uh, alters radically i'll do the similar thing to you okay mate. oh yes Matt, yeah. pick up tone off lovely semitone <laughs> full tone I like it <laughs> musical choke <there. laughs> all right yeah good good front pick up front pick up tone off Half, halfway up. And uh, both pickups, tone off. Ooh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Mm. I can't be bothered to do the half turn. <laughs> I will! <laughs> Come on, don't be lazy, man. That nice bit of bite. Yeah. Get the yeah, both. Yeah, yeah. That's just my favourite. All up. Get just something all up. It's nice, isn't it? It does sound really nice. I like that. And it looks nice too. See, I, I, you can't beat a traditional uh, sunburst, can you? No, very Sunburst. 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 Nice. I think the only difference um, fret-wise on there is you've got jumbo frets instead of medium jumbo on this. Okay. So again, you put, you're not going to you're not going to hear any of this. This is where you want to come in and try and try these out for yourself. Th these will be um, you'll prefer one over the other, or or maybe you like them all. But yeah, you'll start to feel what jumbo does versus narrow tool, for example. If you do, you find a big difference. I'm just curious. I, I I particularly do. I think mean, really on um, when we play Dingwall, this is a bit of a sidetrack, but like because they use banjo frets, the teeniest of teeniest frets. Right. Something between that and then go to something like Ibanez, which have pr used pretty chunky ones. Yeah. Um, you can, I can tell a difference. Not that I prefer anything, you know, it's just got a different flavour well, to it. Well, that's what I meant, really. Wait, wait, do you, do do you have a preference? I, no, not really. I mean, these all just feel good to me. You know, personally, I've got an, an old American standard, so I'm more used to these, which have narrow tool frets, apparently. They might not have had back in the day when I bought that one, but um, that's kind of style, so I might kind of gravitate towards these. Okay. Um, but no, it doesn't really I'm not so fussy. Me. I just no. want frets. Yeah, as long as they've got some. Take the frets <laughs> right. off, forget it. <laughs> yes. All right, well, that's nice. those two. Yes. So, next. Move on up. So, Whoa. now then. Right, here we are. So, yes, this is the American Pro 2. American Pro 2. Yes, Th these took over quite a few years ago now from the American Standard. So that used to be the kind of... Yes, the standard it's a, American. If you're confused, I don't blame you because there's so because every kind of year or two they have to come up with a different a name for these things, right? You yeah, know. pretty much. I mean, the standard was around for about twenty odd. I think the standard came around mid '80s, and then they they dropped every that. thirty years or so. They every day. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. But, the, yeah, but so. also within the range, you've got the player, the player oh, plus the totally. performer, the pair. Yeah, it's, man. Yeah, the pair, I mean, the pair. It used to pair. be. I mean, the performer it used to be called the American Special. They used to be like, yeah. They've changed the names over over the years. And, yeah. Um, but pretty much, say American bases are all say made in the same same factory that these were made in originally in the 50s and 60s on Fullerton Drive. Oh yeah, um, right. that's nice. Oh, yes, yeah. in the Corona factory, yeah, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So um, when you get to here, this is um, where you add a few little accessories like the hard case, which um, should, but, uh, <laughs> we, should, we should remember, uh, should mention. Uh, the oh yeah, we mustn't forget to go through that, yeah, of course, because that might uh, sway people's uh, totally. purchasing. Uh, so what comes with what then? Okay, so you've got the bag, gig bag comes with this. I'm holding it. 
Okay. Yes. So this lovely orange beauty doesn't come with anything. Comes with a, a box. Comes, comes with a box. lovely box. Um, performer comes with a bag. Ta -da. And these other two beauties yes. come with that beautiful heart. Do they? Both yes. the same. Both the same. That's a very sexy case. Yes. Might sway it for you. Yeah. Look. Oh, sexy, sexy. Look at this. Ah, -da -da. Yeah. Tools. Oh yes. Yeah. Proper tool kit. And Do everything. not eat. Don't. Keys. <laughs> so there yeah, sorry, we forgot to add that. We thought we just before we uh, we pack oh, you up. You can just cut that in, can't you? Yeah, I'll cut it in. And this is where say they've started to. Um, uh, I mean, not only have they updated the pickups when they brought this to the professional ranges to the standard, um, they've changed the frets as we were talking about. These are narrow, tall. Um, Obviously, that's maple, right? So that's maple. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, so a solid maple neck and uh, maple fretboard. I, that, I think this would, is actually. Yeah, right, so that would come with a rosewood option. I it guess. does. Yes. Yes. So if you prefer a rosewood, yep, yeah, you can get these in that option. I think there's also five strings again, if that's your bag. Um, but yeah, this is where you're getting all the, um, the the best American components, as it were, before you get to this, where it kind of soups it up again. Right. But little um, details such as the little heel joint which is rolled off makes you a bit more comfy when you get off the dusty end so you've got the option of uh, string through you do i'm not too sure if you have through. that on these you don't actually no so no. You, through the bridge only on those so well funny funny enough not on this one oh, oh, okay so this is if you so prefer the string through option then this is your one but um again you got any preferences on that i, I to be honest my standard come like this as well and i've tried both yeah um it's meant to give a little bit more Can sustain no, I mean, if anything, I find there's a bit more bite, a tiny bit of more treble when you when you put it through the bridge. Okay. Um, if you put it through the body, it's a little, a little bit warmer, a little bit more sustained, but it's the teeniest, the teeniest to my ears of differences. But there you go. There's an option for it, you know. So, um, but yeah, this is this is where you are, and this lovely, as they call it, yeah, dark night finish, which, oops, <laughs> which is marmite apparently in, in here. Baseman. <laughs> yeah. Baseman returns. Yes. The dark yeah. night. Yeah, this is yeah. There's a lovely. joke in there somewhere. Like yeah, you know what we're getting at. But yes, so yeah, I will. I'll give you a sh a, uh, a little. Taste Don't tell of me. This. Don't tell me. Back pick up. Oh, turn off. How did you know? Got it? Um, back pick up, a little bit of tone. Prop mm. pick up, no tone. Ooh. Both pickups. Now, you see, I'm, I can hear a big difference between when you played the first one and that one. That's, that's, that's yeah. a, a really full uh, sound, isn't it, coming out of, it didn't matter which pickup you're on, it was just like a, yeah. a, a very, uh, a very a different sound. Yeah, yeah, and I, th I, I can't remember the top, I think these are called the V-Mod pickups, I think they're called, um, and then you've got things, these are noises pickups, I think these are called Yosemite, just from memory. Um, Boy! Yes, Emily. Um, but so there's obviously a different flavour, slightly different wind, I'm guessing, to each one, and they're doing it 
So that to be sounded unique. very nice. Yeah, and for a passive bass, right? It had that kind of active oh, kind of clarity to yeah, it. To me, yeah, yeah, like the, yeah, it's, oh, and he swore. Uh, that's amazing. Um, that's the Pro 2. That's the Pro 2, yeah. And this is, yeah, you're looking at nine, uh, 1649. Okay, that's 1650. That's it. And these are the jumbo frets, so yes, to you, sir. Okie dokie, right, so this is the Ultra. Yeah. So is this, this is, I suppose, the, the top of the range? Is yes, it? top of the American kind of standard factory range before you get to custom shop. Okay, cosmetically, I mean, yeah, well, there's, there's, we've got binding on the neck there. Uh, yes, yeah. Those sort of uh, slab inlays as opposed to the dots, but of course this is cosmetic stuff. Um, yeah. The, the main difference uh, is going to be this um, active uh, preamp. Totally, 18 yeah. volt, you've got a couple of 9 volt batteries in the back. Um, and th that is switchable, so you can just have it in, you know, sort of uh, passive mode. Yeah, like this. Uh, and then you've got a uh, volume control and then a pickup sort of blend there. Uh, and then you've got bass and treble on that one and mid, and then you've got a passive tone. Uh, and I, I noticed when I was playing around with it. And so this isn't a parametric mid. It's just no. Like a, it's just a set sort of mid frequency. Yeah, to how cut much? And boost. Yeah. And then this is just an, an independent uh, passive tone. Uh, mm. So bearing that in mind, uh, so I've got to remember these are right. That's a, yeah. This that's is a, where it gets a bit different. Thing. <laughs> so back pickup, volume on. Uh, tone off there. Passive. This might take a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just stick a tone up on that. Right, uh, whiz through to the front. Tone off. Stick the tone up. Uh, both together. Tone off. Tone up. Okay, so that's the passive side of things, and then we flip it into the active mode, and then what we can do is uh, cut and boost bass, treble, and middle uh, to taste. Mm. So uh, I suppose we back pick up, uh, middle up, treble off. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> Now we do the reverse, take the middle out, stick the treble up. Then we get a sort of scooped, that scooped effect. Okie dokie, and then uh, front pick up. Uh, we can do the same sort of thing with that. Uh, stick the mid up a bit. Travel up a bit. You know, it's a, there's a lot of tones we're, we're able to get out of this. Oh, totally. I mean, I can't go through all of them, it would just take forever. So yeah, I'm just giving you a rough sort of snapshot. Yeah, and there's uh, always going to be a sweet spot for everyone's style of playing and amps they're using as well. Of course, it? Like, yeah. You get some it? people are playing with the fingers, some people yeah. are going to use a pick, yeah. some people are going to slap it. Quite, this is quite suited for slapping uh, because, of course, you can really cane the top and scoop it out. Yeah, so when you compare that to where were we with the old passive tone off. So it's yeah. versatile, you know, you've just got a load of, load of different sounds in there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know, that, that's where, you, where your money's going really for that, if you, with, with that extra... Um, well, that extra preamp, you know, the totally. Preamp. Yeah, and say so noises pickups in as well. So you see when Nathan's playing, like 
I mean, something with this, you may find there's just a little bit of background noise, it's two single core pickups as they, as they are standard, um, as you get on guitars as well. Um, these idea is, yeah, to get rid of any of that. So if you're using back, front, doing whatever, you're gonna have a crisp, clean uh, signal coming through. Crisp, crisp clean, clean signal. signal. Yeah. yeah. And, and the only other difference really, it's a compound radius. So this, this goes from curvy to flat up that end. So curvy, 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 flat, 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 flat. So oh, it's meant yeah. to be if you, uh, if you're yeah, a bit of a sort of faster player or you like getting up the dusty end, basically, then it's meant to be make it a bit easier. And so I have to say, it feels lovely. The neck yeah. on it feels really nice. Um, yeah, they but, and I, but I really like the sound of that. Yeah. Oh yeah, you should probably. Well, actually, should we swap over? Should we, should we do well, that? Go on. Since I've just While we're talking about one, it. Let's just do let's that. do this and let's swap, swap the uh, swap old amp. Swap the old champ at us. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, no. Thank you. Hey. Welcome. I'll get for your leg, mate. Oh, oh hello. That's what's, all right. What's oh, happening? Oh, i got a leg. So just as a diet comparison. Yeah, like I say, for a passive bass, yeah. it's got a lot of, uh, it's got a punch, isn't it? Yeah. It's very focused. Yeah, it? Very yeah. focused sound. And that's the only thing I recently sort of noticed when you were playing between these and I had this this one and yeah. you, you had that. This, you know, me playing it initially, I was like, oh, that's a nice sound. And then it was only comparing it to that one where you rolled the tone off and you could hear more of the note, as it were. It didn't muddy it as much as mm. this one did to my ear. So hopefully you're noticing similar things as we go along and it's you're, you're picking up, you know, certain characteristics. So Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very nice. It's nice, isn't it, man? It yeah, is. we'll have a little. Right. Oh, yeah, extra gizmos. Where am I? Okay. Go on, mate. A little bit of back pickup. Are we on active? Give it oh, some active. I want a little bit of mid range and a little bit of bass. Let's have it. <laughs> So, more, more level for a start, I think, out of that, don't you? Yeah, that seems and we've much got louder. this sound, yeah, set the uh, the same, so yeah, that is all that extra 18 volt, the, the battery pushing that, pushing extra. Oh, this has almost got, yeah, again, like, I can feel the difference between these and, and um, I don't dislike one over the other, I don't think. You know, at the moment, I can feel the benefits of this. And I can feel this has got a slightly skinnier neck. I mean, jazz necks are pretty skinny anyway, but this, I think with probably the compound radius on this, it just makes it feel even, even dinkier, easier, easier for me to play. Yeah. Well, so I, well, I suppose you know th this is about another two hundred and fifty quid. Yes, which I, I guess is going largely into that sort of preamp. Yeah, and the pickups. Now, some and people, the ball. You know, that might be some people's cup of tea, and it might not. Um, you yeah, know, I think if you just wanted a, a, a traditional jazz bass, that you know you'd probably really like this because it's like you know it's it's just that without all the gizmos, but just a great sound. <laughs> Again, say this like what what happens between these other ones that you know say that this is doing something different you know and maybe it's just down to pick up and um and parts slightly being uh, you know adapted well it must be right you know it, it can only magic? it can only be <laughs> yeah this goes for a magic booth at the end of the end of the run yeah but man, I, I mean this is say equally a really beautiful base and i can't i can't fault these because i mean say the america at uh, the mexican standard as they used to be before the player always really really good bases but i can feel how they've improved even from from that you know a few years ago but they are really offering quite a lot now for their entry range you know so yeah um, so, th well, there we are. Yeah, I think, you know, sort of, I hope there's something that speaks to you. You think if you're looking for a jazz bass that, and thinking, what is the difference between all these? Hopefully this gives you a bit of a, bit of a clue. Well, I guess, you know, for a lot of people, it will come down to budget. Yes, yeah. It's how yeah. much have you got to spend? Mm -hmm. um, you know, whichever one, ones of these basses you buy, you know, it's going to be a great bass. Yeah, oh, Because totally, yeah. they'll play and sound very nice. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you know, if you can afford the extra money, then, then probably spend it because uh, there are definitely um, you know, a, a, 
uh, pluses and improvements and stuff and totally you know, as, as the money goes up yeah but uh you know we shall leave that up to you yes yes and if you're a close by please come in the shop and try obviously they're all here um do what we're doing now is, is, is the best way to find out what's best for you i think you know or say if you're a p-based man or a woman um come in as well and say we've got those for you as well or check out the other video to to give you a, an assistance a bit of assistance there as well so well, absolutely, yeah. Well, I think that's it, right? I yes. I've covered all the bases. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. We'll have a little, maybe like a little play before we put these down. Just well, uh. Well, why not? Have a little play. Let's have it'd a little be, play. Uh, it'd be rude not to. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Yes, they are very nice. In the meantime, it's been all about the base. Yes. Thanks for watching. I've been Nathan. I've been Lee. And, Thanks uh, for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Ta-ta. Bye bye.